It is time for some pork loin with Jason Parsons. That could be a new show. Pork, <laughs> <laughs> pork loin with Jason Parsons. Pork Bar loin is this with a Jason daytime Parsons. Show or yeah, time? I don't no. know okay. actually. Sorry. I don't know. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, you know, I wanted to do a, just a regular meal that you'd have with your family. You know, midweek, whatever. It could be something simple. Yeah. Uh, so I actually just took simple pork loins that we see in the grocery store all the time and think, you know, how do we cook these that they don't go dry and. Right. You know, pork is is a great meat to cook with, but. When you're dealing with something like this, you need to give it some flavor. You need to give okay. it a little something so that it's yeah. a little bit tender because you're right, it can't go very dry. Yeah, you know, but before we do that though, I've got red quinoa, the super grain, you know, you got all these different quinoas out there. Now you can actually put them in a little bit of a stock and, you know, put them in here, simmer it away and kind of cook it so it's nice and soft mm -hmm. and that's fine. If that's what you want to do, then I won't stop you. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to do? But I like it a little crunchy. I like the fact that it's almost, a, you know, like a crackery snap to it. So what I've got here is half apple cider, half chicken stock. Okay. Just pour it to a boil. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is simply pour this over top. And this is a lot easier. I mean, this you know. is interesting. I've actually, yeah. I've never seen quinoa made like this. No, nope. Just pour it over like that. Okay. And then, uh, I would have some cling film, but I think I lost it in the move. But uh, basically, mm -hmm. you just stir it in, and all you do is just wrap it with cling film, yeah. and then literally put that on your counter and let that completely cool down. Really? That will actually cook off to that. That sounds much easier, and I mean, too. You know, taste a little bit of this. It's, uh, it's got a little bit of a crunch to it. Let but, me uh, try a bit. Yeah. But what I like is it's cooked through, but it's crunchy. Mm -hmm. You know, texture to it, right? And I think that gives it us a little bit more. It's and you know what? It has that nutty flavor, so it's yep. kind of nice that it's at that consistency, right? Sure. And now we are going to fry it up a little bit, but the thing to remember is once you've done that, you can mm -hmm. put it in a frying pan all day long and it's really not going to cook it unless you put some more stock in there. So, right. So don't think that, oh, it's a little soft. I'll fry it up a bit more. It won't happen. Okay. But these pork loins, I've just got a, a little pan here, hopefully nice and hot. I think get it's not get ready really for there. Your, get ready for your sizzles, guys. <laughs> <laughs> at all. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh there you go. yeah. Oh yeah, so but Happy just, pork. the yep. sound of heaven. But I just kind of nice. move it around a little bit in the pan. I think mm -hmm. that's just because I like to turn my, you know, move my pork around. But just let it sit, okay? Put it in there, sear uh, it. I know, I know. Don't I touch know. it. No, I, don't touch I gotta it. Gotta go away let from it. Go. it. Right. Stay away from it. Let it go. <laughs> yeah, you can take the chef out of the kitchen, but so anyway, uh, but just brown it. The thing yeah. is, we all start to kind of, you know, do we turn it over, do, let it cook. Let it sit there, okay? let it do its thing. Exactly. You know, you want to get that thing going. And while we're doing this, I'm going to start with some butter here. And okay. this one's going to be nice and hot. I know Always that. the beginning of something good. <laughs> Let's yeah. start with some butter. Start with some butter, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then what I've got is just uh, melt the butter down. I don't want to take it to a brunoisette. I don't want to brown it. I just want to soften it a little bit. Okay. But then I've got my nice shallots, as I always love my shallots, you know how I am, mm -hmm. right? Um, and I've chopped the garlic quite fine on this one because I really don't want too much of a crunch of garlic. I want it to be about the quinoa, okay? But the key is open the flavors up. Right. You know, we always talk about, oh, do I just throw everything in the pan? But sitting that, you can see it bubbling away. Mm -hmm. The flavors, the, I mean, if you could smell this, we got to... We got 3D. Why can't we get smell of it? There's got to be a way. You know, come on. We got it's Rogers. We're on it. I'm Are sure you on they're it? figuring it out. Yeah, they're okay. on it. Yeah, yeah. You know, come on. It Let's out. go. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that flavor will open up. And once that's done, then you take that quinoa that we actually soaked down and you add that in. Okay. Nice. Mm, you know. Okay, now do I need to do anything over here? No, leave it alone. Okay. Leave it alone. All right. You know, everybody wants to, you know. I just want to make sure it's. Yep. The pan's very hot, but okay, I trust you. It's good. You are the chef good. here. So. Toast Looks this very off. Good. Now you can actually give this a little bit more of a nutty flavor by toasting it a little bit more, mm -hmm. or if you just want to keep it exactly as it is, then you can go for it. As it, but once you get those going, then what I've got is some nice diced apple. You know, and I just left them raw, chopped them up, just throw that in there. Nice. Like that. Boom. There we go. And now, while that is softening, finally, you'll be happy to know we are going to take a look at this guy. Oh, it's burnt. lovely. No, it's perfect. <laughs> Look at that. It's Beautiful. Perfect. Right? Oh, that's, see, that's a little. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah Maybe it's I jumped the gun But then, little. this is where we want to actually add the flavor to it. Ooh, maple syrup. Good Canadian. I love it when it comes in a paint can, too, right? So That's when you know it's real. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like that maple it's syrup. It's real. You know, you can put a little bit of chicken stock in there. I got butter somewhere. You know. Uh, oh, gosh, yeah. a little yeah. bit of apple cider in there. This is turning there. into dessert. Mm -hmm. I love it. Da -da -da -da. And the big thing is, is we're cooking it in this flavor of the sauces. I got some chilies in there. Ooh. Some rosemary. Oh, I'll put some rosemary here too. Nice, spread go. it around. But the key is, is you want to take, 
and I'm not going to use a spoon because you, but you would I just know, di baste of, it and baste it and baste it, right? Yeah, all right. But you get all that Although liquor. I've never actually seen a chef do a whole recipe with no instruments. I know, this is You're pretty cool. You're very talented, eh? Jason. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm all over this. <laughs> it's all just shaking yep. it here, shaking it here, flipping yep. it around. What did you just put in there? Toasted almonds. Oh, Crunch, nice. Crunch, you know, a little bit of rapini. Yeah. All right, and then away oh, we go. they're wrapping us. Anyways, yep. he's, he's finished anyways, right? Okay. Yeah, look, it's done. done. There it is. It's done. So pork loin, we've got some lovely red quinoa with some uh, roasted and toasted almonds, and it looks amazing. The pork is perfect and very easy. We're talking about weekday dinners. Oh, yeah. This could definitely be one. So this is online. Give Chef Parsons a big hand, and stay with us. We're going to break. More perfect. coming up.